I started as a barrister 40 years ago and I've been a QC since 1991. I think you have to approach a case with what I think of as three things. I think of determination, determination to win, to get the best result, with optimism because you have to keep, you have to be hopeful, you have to, in, to, to really throw yourself into it in the belief that you can succeed. Uh, if you go into a case feeling that all is lost, you're wasting your time. So you must have determination, you must have optimism, and you must have, you must be in a position to give the client a sense of dignity. The criminal system can be very damaging to a client um, and very harmful. And I think it's very important that a client feels dignified uh, in the challenge that he faces. The most important thing when you get a new case is to plan your campaign. It's, it's absolutely critical to stand back and take a long, cool look at what the case is about. There, there are frequently cases with thousands of pages of documents. It's not staring straight into the document straight away. It's getting an overview so that you can plan your approach to the case. It's, it's like a general planning a campaign at war. You have to, to really know what ammunition you've got, you have to know how to use it, and you have to work out who the enemy is, whether the enemy is just the prosecution or whether the enemy, as is often the case, is co-defendants as well. The, the most Im important thing, in my opinion, is to try to manoeuvre your client into the best possible position before the trial begins. One of the ways that you do that is pressing the prosecution for maximum amounts of disclosure of material that they wouldn't otherwise give you, but which if you press them, they are obliged to give. And that very often is of great assistance to a client because he knows much more about the background to the case. What you have to remember is that when you prepare a case and when you are advocating in court, it is the jury who are the judges. It is the jury who decide whether someone is guilty or not guilty. And so all of your preparation in terms of, of the cross-examination and the, the, the client's evidence must be, must be done with the jury in mind because it's the members of the jury who you're really addressing, not the judge. The judge you're dealing with on questions of law, but at the end of the day, it's the jury that really matters. With applications, pre-trial applications for disclosure, in the context of putting a client in the best possible position before the case begins, it must also be remembered that sometimes the prosecution are so embarrassed at not being able to provide disclosure without him causing themselves major embarrassments, that they actually feel obliged to drop the case. And I have had cases where by pressing for disclosure, the prosecution have thrown their hand in and decided to abandon the case altogether.